In our second lesson on trig equations, we're going to have a look at solutions in a specific interval. In our first lesson on trig equations, we had a look at how to determine the general solution for any trig equation. Today, we're going one step further, and we are going to have a look at how to determine specific values for theta in a given interval. So if we look at today's example, we need to solve theta if sin theta is equal to minus a fifth, and then very specifically only for the interval minus 360 to 360 degrees. So we need to get the specific answers that are between minus 360 and 360 degrees. So we're going to start off with exactly the same steps as determining the general solution. And our first step is to get the trig function and angle alone. And in our case, sin theta is already alone. That means we can immediately start off calculating our reference angle. So to calculate this angle, you'll press shift sin of 1 over 5, and you will get the angle 11,54 degrees. Our third step is to determine the quadrants we need to work in. And because we are looking at sin, where it has a negative ratio, we're going to work in the third and fourth quadrants. Our next step is then to add the correct reduction formulas. And for our third quadrant, we are going to add 180 plus. For the fourth quadrant, 360 degrees minus our reference angle. And then we know that we can add any number of 360 degrees to get another solution. And our final step was then to simplify. In our question, we were given a specific interval. So now we need to go one step further and calculate the specific values for theta that are in this interval. For this, we are going to substitute k with any integer, and we are going to start off substituting k with zeros, meaning we add no 360 degrees. So in our third quadrant, we will have the option 191,54 degrees, and this is in the given interval. And in our fourth quadrant, we will have 348,46 degrees, which is also in our interval. If we then go and substitute k with 1, we will add 360 degrees to both quadrants, and that will give us the option of 551,54 degrees and 708,46 degrees, and neither of these two are in the given interval. We can also substitute k with negative integers, and that means if we substitute minus 1, we will subtract 360 degrees and get the option of minus 168,46 degrees and minus 11,54 degrees. Both of these are in our given interval. If we now go and substitute minus 2, you will see that both answers are smaller than the interval. So in the given interval, there are four possible answers for theta, and we can simply finalize our answer by listing them in ascending order. So to go from a general solution to specific answers for an interval, we simply substitute k with any integer and see which values do fall in our given interval.